Hey. Hey. Who's on the phone? That was Vance. He said the same thing that Michael said. JT has a right to take Reed out of state. Baby, I'm sorry. It's okay. Maybe I could just stay like this forever. Hmm. All right. Sounds good. We might have to forego thriving and bathing, but I can do it if you can. Is that the article on my dad and Heather? Yeah. Yeah, I took another go at it before I posted it. Your father thinks he can buy his way out of a court order with a campaign contribution. I'm not gonna let him get away with it this time. Hey, why don't I make you some coffee? sleep very well last night. I'm sorry. I keep you up? Oh, come on. No, you know me. I can sleep through anything. <sighs> Just kind of shut my mind off. I tried. I was just racing. I just thought that maybe I was having a bad dream and I was going to wake up and then, I don't know, maybe... Everything would just be normal again. That JT wouldn't be leaving with my little baby. Tell you what, why don't I stay home today, stay with you, or clear my schedule, skip the gym? No, just go, just go do your day, all right? I'm fine. I'm just gonna go visit my mom for a while. I just wanna get out of the house. about Victor Newman and Heather Stevens true? How long have you known me? I know I'm not a prize-winning journalist, but I don't make stuff up. Look, look, look. I can document Newman's campaign contributions to the acting DA, and I know for a fact that she interfered with a court order that was served upon him. You add it up. Let's see what Mr. Newman has to say about it. Yeah, well, good luck. Victor Newman and DA payoff scandal? They're leaving today, and there's nothing that I can do about it, Mom. Have you called Michael? Yes, I've called Michael. I've called Michael. I've called Vance Abrams, and they both said the same thing. JT has full custody. There's nothing I can do. He can go. He can do whatever he wants. I've got no recourse. I can do nothing. Oh All right. Okay. Where, All right. where are you going? I, you I'm doing? checking out. No. JT needs a good talking to. No, Mom, to. I'm not going to let you jeopardize your sobriety. Honey. I'm sorry, but if you slipped, I would feel too guilty. Don't I do that. I need to help you. You cannot do this on your own. It's okay, Mom. I've got Billy, okay? I've got Billy. Sweetheart, no disrespect to Billy, but you really need somebody who can advise you. I have to say, I think your father could help what? out in this. What? Dad? Are you joking? Honey? No. Honey, listen to me. I really think you should call him. How could you? What, post the truth? Your version of the truth. 
We had this conversation. I thought you understood. This is a non-issue. You went digging into my campaign finances for your own agenda, and you twisted things around to make it look like I had done something wrong. Really? I mean, you're kidding yourself if you think you didn't. You know I'm right. Okay. But it's okay. This is how it is dealing with Victor. You, you want to take a shower afterwards. So nasty. This is your own personal war against your father-in-law. You did not have to involve me. Do you have any idea what you've done to my career? Oh God, I would love to wipe that smirk off your you know face. We, we both know why you want to take Victor Newman down. But did you really have to ruin my daughter's reputation, especially just before the election? Hey, look, she shouldn't have taken a man's money and kept him out of jail. You know what? I know it. She knows it. Is it true? Did you get Victor Newman out of a court order because he's financing your campaign? My decision involving the court order had absolutely nothing to do with Mr. Newman's campaign contribution. Dad is the last person I would ask for help. I'm furious with him, too, but if he can stop JT from leaving with Reed, it's worth it. He has connections. No! No, okay? I know all about his connections. Trust me. I would still have custody of Reed if he hadn't pulled that stupid stunt with JT. If I ever want to have a chance of getting joint custody of Reed, Mom, I need to keep Dad as far away from this as possible. I'm just really sorry for dumping this on you. I know you have your own problems right now. Don't be ridiculous. You can always come to me. That's what mothers are for. Even mothers of grown up children. I just wish I had the power to make this not happen. So do I, Mom. So do I. You know, it's weird because I thought that JT and I were in a better place after his accident, you know, we were, we were getting along really well, and, and I was spending more time with Reed, and I just didn't expect this from him at all. I just want to get in bed, just pull the covers over my head. We will get through this together, I promise. So, it turns out our temporary housing is for two months instead of one. Well, that's good. It'll give us plenty of time to find something else. How's the preschool search going? Uh, pretty good. Um, checked out two for us to look at with Reed when we get there. Grandma? Uh, it can't be. It hasn't been that long. Billy. Go. Hey, guys. Wow. You're really gonna do this, huh? Yeah, we're doing it. It happened really fast. The job opportunity came out of nowhere, and it was it was too good to turn down. We wouldn't be making this move if we thought it was bad for Reed. Yeah, I get it. You're doing what you think is best for your family. Well, I've got to protect mine. Do you have any idea what this is doing to Victoria? What it's gonna do to Reed? I mean, buddy, don't kid yourself. Your son's gonna be miserable without his mom. He loves her to pieces and she loves him. And you're ripping her heart out. I'm not doing this to punish Victoria. We'll arrange for Reed to come back as often as possible. You guys can come visit any time. Yeah, look, DC's only 800 miles away. That's less than a two hour plane ride, okay? We'll work it out. We all want what's best for Reed. What's best for Reed is for him to be close to his mom. I'm gonna finish packing. He's really not trying to take Reed away from his mother. This is killing Vicky. And I can't imagine how difficult it is for her, but once we get settled in and we get a routine, he can come back, she can come visit. Hey, look, I, I really want to be happy for you. I really do. But right now, all I see is the pain this is causing my wife. Now you give Reed my love. Tell him.
Adam, I'm very sorry that I couldn't see him before he left, but he can call me anytime, okay? Okay, Mom. I will, thank you. And you, you call me day or night. Okay. Thanks, Mom. We're gonna fix this. Thank you. Figure this out, okay? I know that JT's convinced that taking Reed to DC is the best thing. That's obvious. It's obvious that he's not gonna change his mind about it. I'm not going to be there for him when he's sick, you know, and I'm not going to be able to bring him here for coffee and hot chocolate after school. I was supposed to take him to the Children's Museum in Chicago for the holidays. You can still do that. No, I don't even know where Reed's going to be at Christmas time. Look, JT doesn't want to keep him from you. So we're going to work all these little things out. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to make this as smooth for Reed as possible. I'm not gonna let him see how upset I am. But I am never, I am never gonna forgive JD, ever. <sighs> 